Hi, Tim Cronin here. I'm the creator and owner of AllInOnGoal.com. In this video, I'm going to do a review on a brand new book that's just come out called The New Case for Gold by Jim Rickards. Now, Mr. Rickards is a very smart guy. He's a preeminent authority on the subjects of global finance and economics, as well as international monetary systems. He's authored two best-selling books. One's called The Death of the Dollar, and the other one is called Currency Wars. So hang in there, don't go away, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks. So let's talk about Jim Rickard's book, The New Case for Gold. First, let me ask you some questions. Do you think there's a chance we could be headed towards another recession? Do you believe there's a chance that the next recession might be worse than the one we had in 2008? If you do believe that, what are you doing about it? What's your strategy? You may be thinking, I don't know, what can I do about it? You may have noticed there's a lot of buzz about gold on television and in the financial news lately. So much so that you may have tuned it all out. But with the release of his new book, The New Case for Gold, Jim Rickards gives you some very powerful reasons to tune back in. First, let me say that I've been an advocate for owning physical gold for quite some time now. I came across Jim Rickards about five years ago. He's one of those guys that you see frequently on financial news talk shows and in videos by investment pundits. Rickards is always the smartest guy in the room. He's an expert on global finance, especially world currencies, international monetary systems, and how gold plays a critical role in all of it. He's one of the first people I came across who is a proponent of owning physical gold as part of a diversified portfolio strategy to protect your investments. He calls it wealth insurance as a hedge against inflation and economic downturns. By virtue of the book's title, you know it's going to be a pro-gold publication. I think it's important to point out that the book is entitled The New Case for Gold. That's because Rickards submits some very fresh contemporary reasons to be acquiring gold. Let me share three of those reasons right now. The first reason is cyber financial terrorism. 99% of our money is digital. Our paychecks are automatically deposited into our bank accounts and we pay our bills online. We use credit cards to pay for things rather than cash. Our finances, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, etc. are all digital. That puts almost all our wealth at risk from online hackers who are determined to bring down our government and large private organizations by undermining them with relentless cyber terrorism tactics. The IRS has been hacked into, as was the New York Stock Exchange, Target, Experian, Ashton Madison, Home Depot, J.P. Morgan, to name just a few. This is a very real and highly probable threat. It is a known fact that China and Russia employ thousands of hackers whose sole purpose is to disrupt our digital financial money systems. Don't be surprised if one day you go to check on your online investments account only to find that your account has been wiped out. Physical gold, not paper gold, is a hard tangible asset that cannot be hacked into. Physical gold is outside the realm of digital currency. Those who own some of element number 75 have insurance to protect them from cyber financial terrorism. The next reason is the scarcity of gold. Currently, the global demand for gold far exceeds the market's ability to supply it. China has been voraciously hoarding gold for a long time. At present, it is the largest producer and buyer of gold in the world by far. Russia is also stockpiling the precious metal in record amounts. All the central banks around the world, including the Federal Reserve, are acquiring huge amounts of gold as part of their balance sheets. Gold mines are running at full capacity. There's a finite amount of gold available in the world with fewer and fewer new gold ore deposits being discovered. Gold refineries are working around the clock to supply the surging demand from its customers. It's likely that an economic or monetary crisis could trigger a run on gold, pushing demand beyond the gold industry's capacity on the supply side. Gold mines and gold refineries will be obligated to take care of their largest customers first, while smaller entities and individual buyers will be snubbed. The good news is that the price of gold has been artificially suppressed so the big players can acquire gold at discounted prices. 
But that's slowly changing and the price of gold is creeping up. So Rickards points out that individual gold buyers should purchase gold now while there's still some available and while gold is on sale at rock bottom prices. When the music stops, don't be left without a chair. The next reason is the price of gold will go up to $10,000 per ounce. In the new case for gold, Rickards provides data and evidence that the collapse of the global monetary system will inevitably crash. He predicts that just like all the other currency crises in the past, the major countries of the world who hold the most stockpiles of gold, right now that's the US, China, Russia, and Germany, will meet to reset and establish a new world reserve currency that will stabilize the global monetary system. Since all the currencies in the world are fiat currencies, that is, not backed by gold, the new world currency will be backed by some percentage of gold. At the low end, Rickard says that the gold standard will be set at 20%. That is, all currency in the money supply will be backed by 20% gold supply in central banks. So how does he derive the $10,000 per ounce figure? If you take the world's total money supply number and divide it by 20% of the official gold supply in ounces, that number comes to $10,000. I found the new case for gold to be quite possibly the most comprehensive, informative, and coherent explanation for the advocacy of gold, of owning physical gold as wealth protection, as a form of money, and as a practical form of exchange in practical business transactions. I give Rickard's newest book my highest recommendation for people who are looking for a sound, stable, and historically proven strategy for diversifying your portfolio in lieu of highly risky investing in the unstable stock market. A lot of what Rickards is predicting sounds like insurmountable gloom and doom. I don't look at it that way. It's actually very good news if you're prepared. History has proved that time and time again that in every financial crisis there are winners and losers. If Rickards is right and we are on the verge of a worldwide monetary crisis, then we all have the opportunity of positioning ourselves on the right side of the crash. And the benefits we can realize can be tremendous. The best investment you can make is in your own education. Don't put your blind faith and trust in the so-called financial experts. Invest $15 and get the new case for gold today. Read it as soon as you can and go out and acquire some gold right away. It could be the best investment you'll ever make. So there you have it. I highly recommend The New Case for Gold by Jim Rickards to anyone who's serious about their financial future. It's got some really great information. It's got a timely and important message. And I think the main message is that everyone needs to own some physical gold as part of a diversified portfolio and as a strategy to help protect your wealth uh, as we go through this crisis. So. Get yourself a copy of the book today, read it, and then go out and get yourself some gold. Uh, buy some gold now before it's too late. Uh, thanks a lot. I wish you all the best. Take care.